A really neat feature in PowerPoint 2010 is the ability to save your presentation uh, to the web. And once you have it saved to the web, what you're able to do is uh, share a link or even embed the presentation into a website. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how this works. So the first thing is you'll need a SkyDrive account. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm in a, my Firefox browser. And as you can see, I'm in SkyDrive. Now Microsoft, once you get a Windows Live account, Microsoft's going to give you 25 gigabytes of free storage. So that's actually quite a bit of free storage. And so it's kind of nice if you want to share, if you're working with clients or other people you want to share uh, your files, it's a neat way to do do that and, and have it for free. And then um, you can, you know, there's some options to change all this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and keep the, the sky that I have here. So um, what we can do to add files is you can click on Add Files. You can create a folder. I'm going to create a... I'm going to go ahead and create a folder here in SkyDrive. We're going to call this demo, um, which I have here. And I'm going to make this available to the public. And we'll go ahead and hit Next. Now I created a folder, and I can add files. Um, and as you can see, I can just browse and search for the files. I'm going to go ahead and hit Cancel, because all I wanted was the folder. So you can see I have a demo folder now. Now what we want to do is come back to a PowerPoint presentation. So we've got this presentation, and what we want to do is save this uh, to the web. So we just go ahead and click on File, then we go to Save and Send. And as you can see, there's a Save to Web option, so we're going to click on that. And then you can see here, let me refresh this because I deleted some of these folders. So what you can see here is there's the demo folder we just created. So I can actually save it to that folder, or if I wanted to, I can create a folder on the fly. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. And as you can see, there's the new folder. We're going to call this Demo2. And I'll make this just for myself. Hit Next. I don't need to upload files, so I can hit Cancel. And um, what I need to do now is come back into PowerPoint. And we'll go to the PowerPoint. Now I need to refresh it. And now you're going to see the folder that we just created, the Demo2. So let's go ahead and save that presentation to the public folder. Let's click on Save As. And what's going to happen, a dialog box is going to open up that's going to allow me to uh, add the name. So I've got my name here. I'm going to click on Save. And it's going to upload to the demo folder, which you're going to see here in a second. You can see it down here on the bottom. It's saving it, and now it's uploading it to the server. And once it's up on the server, I can go uh, view that. Let me show you some of the things we can do. So let me go back. Here we go to SkyDrive. There's the demo folder we just uploaded to, and there's my PowerPoint file. And I can click on that, and I can uh, click here, view it. You know, people can add comments because this is public. I've also got a, a link I can share with people, and I also have a an iframe that I can embed into a file, and we'll look at that in a second. Uh, an iframe that I can embed into a file. Uh, or I can click on this and view the PowerPoint file from here. And so you can see I can navigate it. Um, and then there's a notes section. So I think slide one, I have some, let's go back to slide one here. I have some placeholder notes so you can see how the notes work in that as well. So that's um, that. Let me go back to the SkyDrive. Um, one other thing that you can do, and this is a little buggy now because this hasn't actually been uh, completely released yet. Um, I'm not working in the, the, the real version of um, PowerPoint 2010. But if we go to a folder here, I believe I have a presentation in here. Nope, I don't. Uh, let me find the presentation. I think I have it in my documents here. So in my documents, I have a PowerPoint presentation. When I click on that, I can click on Edit, and I have some editing capabilities online. They're kind of simple. Uh, but, you know, I can do some basic editing, and then I can also open up in PowerPoint. It'll download it and let me work in it from there. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like to embed a file in a page. So I'm just going to go to the demo folder. We'll open up this, and we'll grab this iframe code. I'm going to hit Control-C, and then we'll paste it somewhere. All right, so I embedded a widget on, I embedded that iframe, and this is what you get. Um, on a page, and when you click on it, it just takes you to uh, the SkyDrive page where people can then view the presentation. So that's how you can save your presentation to the web and then use that elsewhere.